so this is the sound I woke up to listening to the licking and I look down and I see this going on so EB likes to do this if you don't <laughs> hide your hands in the morning yeah Bridger is dead asleep kind of I like how she has to see if he's waking up <laughs> And then she goes right back to it. It cracks me up, seriously, because this is literally, the kids fall for it, and I just hide my hands in the morning, and he's out. Poor thing. He's going to have to wash his hands when he gets up. Good morning. I'm on my way to work. Just took the kids to school. So here's the hardest part about this week. Splitting myself into four or five people was not the easiest thing to do. So the hard thing is, is the time I get off work, a lot of things are closed. So trying to accommodate our car situation. We have a car, Austin's car is broke down. My car is needs to be registered and I can't get there before it's closed because I don't get off work till after it closes. Even if I got off early, it wouldn't work. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. So I might try to trade one of my schedules next week, see how I could get that accomplished. Anyway, long story short, without Jake here, there's been teacher conferences and choir contracts concerts and uh, oh and book fairs so I just um, because I couldn't do three things at once yesterday um, I have I we woke up early so that we could go over to the school so the boys would be able to get um, books at the book fair this time so when when we have a good report I like to get them a book report or a book report. I like to get them a book at the book fair um, because it basic. I feel like it encourages them to do good the whole term. Like they're they did the best that they could, and I could see that, and so they earned those. But I didn't have time to be able to do when I, when their things were over last night. The book fair was closed, and so I know a girl. <laughs> Anyway, and, and I actually went over, I called, text her last night and said, hey, what's the chances of you hanging out and waiting for me or I give you my card number or something? And literally she was like, well, I'm going to be there early this morning. So we left early just so the boys could pick some books from the book fair before they close today. So I feel like this week I accomplished it. It wasn't as smooth as I wanted, but <laughs> it is what it is. Hi, Lyman family. <laughs> Are you recording? I am. This is my friend Brandy. You the guys best all is yet her. to come. Yes, it is. Anyways, we are at a place called El Molo, and uh, it's it's a seafood place. Brandy's showing off the. Uh, the menu, but anyways, it's uh, it's cool. I, I I drove up to Boston since I'm out here on the East Coast, and they're all out here on the East Coast as well. Uh, her husband JJ is doing a show, um, and she decided to come visit him. And anyways, we decided to see if there was any way we could get together, and here we are having dinner in Boston late night Friday after work. Should be a blast. This, so good. this is what's for dinner. A stuffed lobster. A stuffed two and a half pound, two and a two pound lobster.
And then Brandy got the pasta of the day, which looked really good as well. That's all made in-house. And JJ got the same thing, a big lobster. So Theron's watching Pee Wee's Playhouse on Netflix, and what did you just say? I'm gonna shoot my freaking hair off. What? What did you just say about it? I'm gonna sh What did you say? Seriously. You can, you can literally look up, uh, on Safari, you can look up Pee Wee's Playhouse brains, and it would look up this guy freaking shooting himself in the head. Okay, so what did you say to me, though? You said, I'm about to shoot myself in the face. <laughs> I used to love watching Pee Wee's Playhouse. He acts like he talks. I'm it. <laughs> so we had an awesome night tonight. We actually, um, after... Ugh. Yes, they're playing with the matches. Supervised. Anyways, the kids are lighting candles because we're trying to get this one to go, but this side, my older boys dug at this three wick candle when they were younger, and I was trying to show them that it doesn't. You're gonna. Okay. This one actually fits. A cup of a cup of matches. No, I'm of it. Oh, don't scare. Her. Anyways, in. what I was telling you was we had an awesome night. Okay, this go put it down somewhere because if it gets warm and burns you, I don't want to have to get mad because you didn't listen. Thank you. Third time, we had a fun night. Anyway, today is Sunday. We uh, met up with. A new option for Amberly voice coach. Perfect. 
I wasn't sure how that was gonna all pan down, but it panned down pretty well. In fact, Emberly is on her way to something big. And we are, the good news is, is it's not just a voice coach. It's a voice coach. Um, in fact, I'm gonna brag a little bit. You guys know who you David Archuleta? Awesome. David Archuleta's voice coach is now Emberly's voice coach. And I just want to say one thing. You know why? Why we were able to get this hookup is because of you guys. Having a YouTube channel and growing and getting to the point put me in the position to meet somebody, Rob Landis. Which opened up the opportunity to be in the That right was for place. you, Grandma. YouTube is pretty cool, just for the record. And you guys are awesome. So I just wanted to do a quick thank you to everybody. And it's, you know, and I, I'd like to do a couple little, you know, I don't know, shout outs. The Energized, you are amazing. I love your notes and your words of encouragement. It really helps, especially when I'm feeling kind of meh. It's nice that, you know, I love, okay, are we having a competition? I love, I love seeing comments from you. And everybody that comments, the Kara's Life, I think it's Kara's Life Vlogs. Um, I, we have a, new, a couple new people joining in. So we are going to be doing a live vlog on Sunday at 10 o'clock. Um, we were gonna do it today, but um, I'm sorry, I just epic failed parenting 101 this morning. And I wasn't about to do it. I felt like my plate was too full and I couldn't do it. So I didn't. But Sunday, this coming Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning Mountain Standard Time. I believe anybody in the UK can jump in on this. It might be in the evening for you. But I wanted to do it in the morning so that we could have people in the UK join in. And um, I'm hoping that you guys can jump in and be part of that. Uh, I think we're going to do a Q&A with the kids. It might be fun, right? So that's kind of the gear that we're going. We'll be a Q&A with Bridger, Emberly, and Theron. I think Austin will be too busy with his life or whatever he's doing. Anyways, actually, he's, long story short, he's super busy, and I'm not even going to bother asking him. So we're just going to go ahead and let you know about that. So put that on your calendar this coming Sunday, 10 a.m., Mountain Standard Time. I think that's seven hours difference. If you're in the UK, Scotland, Ireland, I think it's seven or eight hour difference, just for the record. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do it. We're going to be doing weekly vlogs, not just this Sunday, but every Sunday. And we're going to be doing shout outs. Yes. So if you're on Instagram, jump over. Come check us out. We're going to be doing that. And we would like to shout out your name. And if you want a shout, a shout out, then come over. Come check us out and comment. That's how you're going to get the shout out, okay? And we will see you guys tomorrow.